All right, all right. Deocamdată am zis că fac videos așa și le urc cum pot cât mă mai lasă pe Facebook. Că am observat că live-urile nu se mai înțeleg ori cu telefoanele mele, ori cu nu știu care idee. Am o cartelă pe telecom, un prepay și uh, un digi abonament normal clasic și nu știu care e ideea. Probabil că o să trebuiască să schimb telefoanele. Um, vreau să vorbesc în acest video, sper că destul de scurt, de unele lucruri pe care le facem noi în homeschooling, pentru că M-a întrebat foarte multă lume, dar voi cum faceți, cum vă descurcați, cum ai făcut tu educația copiilor, pe ce se bazează. Vor fi destul de mulți termeni în engleză pentru că, basically, we're building British and American curriculum and many other places from this beautiful planet. I have here Khan Academy Kids and... In notification, I have got uh, the beauty. Um, uh, there are some earned badges. And uh, badges that are earned are nice listener, nice uh, strike, strike, and nice listener again. Uh, you can see it, it's nine months ago because that was the last time they worked on Khan Academy. You earned Sally Ride, Sequoia, and Great Listener. So basically what they do, they give this kind of beautiful badges whenever the kid is watching a lot of their videos that are all reach new levels, blah, blah, blah. Um, Build weekly strikes, jump back and faster than ever, review progress in the recent courses and close. We have here the badges and I don't know if there are more. As you can see, we have... Ooh. All right. See? And... We have here only the meteorite badges. There are more, right? Look. Meteorite and moon and earth, sun, black hole and challenge patches. Shuit, avem 34 timers of um, good listener or nice listener. We have reached 100 to just getting started and 1000 on making progress, right? So here we have here, we have uh, four times uh, a great listener and so on, all right? So these were activated and you can see 34, seven times, four times, Last achieved a collaborator a year ago. Last achieved Benjamin Franklin three years ago. Cypress and so on, right? Uh, they're a programming sch a scholar and challenger. And we have so on, right? Hard at work. Hard at work. 7,000. Productive. We have 2,000. So this comes basically from um, both children, right? And look at this. Look at this beauty here. Can you see this beautiful number? This is amazing. All right. So basically, we're gonna get through them so someone, anyone can understand this. Look, Magellan and Sally Wright, Copernicus. There you go. Look, these are some numbers. 12, oh, even more. It's 125,000 and it's 35,000. 
thousand sun badges. All right, Newton, it's uh, 150,000 black holes. All righty then, see? So this is their work. These badges come, look, level 21. Yeah, so they've got skills, they got weak strike, uh, they've got courses. Let's go to the courses, all right? So here, um, you're going to find courses that they've done so far. Second grade, third grade, uh, fourth grade, and we've got like so. Um, it's adding and subtract. It's a 98 mastered. Money and time mastered 60%, but it wasn't worked at all. Yes, it was not worked 100%. It was um, worked until they reached this level. So it's not a mark. It's not um, the level of comprehension. It's just how much they worked so far. Measurement, uh, it's 68 mastered. Data, it's not 97 mastered and they still have some left. Geometry, it's 40% uh, percent mastered. Uh, the one with parameter, um, length and so on, as you can see, area, uh, quadrilaterals, time measurement, everything, it's between 13% 13 per, 13 up to 58%, 67 actually. Uh, from the fourth grade in biology, they have uh, place value 93 mastered and they still have the possibility to return. Addition, subtraction, 88 mastered, multiply by one digit numbers, 42 mastered, and so on. Division, intro in biology, water, acids, and bases, Mac macromolecules, elements of life, energy, and enzymes, right? Um, early math reviews again, and we also have the possibility to resume learn, learning uh, onto parameter, common fractions and decimals, triangles and so on, properties of the shape. All right, so these are some courses and we're talking about everything that happens in mathematics, but uh, we also have the possibility, look, we have the progress here. And we have the possibility to go to um, 30 days, unfortunately, and you'll get everything ever um, earned. Course Metary Goals, and we have all activities. Look, exercise videos, article, quizzes, unit tests, course challenges, mastery challenges, um, can amigo activities, writing coach, and uh, uh, there's there so many. Um, we have profile as me as a teacher and them as students. Again, with the badges. And um, we also have a, a showcase. And we have the discussions and statistics. And we have also some projects. So everything is online. We also have the possibility to go here and what else my kids do. All right, let's write this beautiful jolly phonics. Jolly phonics, where are you? Okay is a Google search and bravo Romania they started bringing jolly phonics in Romania for a couple of years but in the first 10 years look it's IXL as well IXL learning which is very very uh, 
very similar to um, uh, Khan Academy kids. Some say it's better, some say Khan is better. It really doesn't matter. Um, jolly Learning, look, we have this Jolly Phonics and my kids had the possibility, allow all cookies, had a possibility to learn um, tricky words from English, to learn phonetic and phonology from three years up. Um, they had a possibility to understand all the sounds because in um, kids' language, everything starts with a sound and then moves to a word, to a letter and to a word. Uh, find a course. Look, we have online training as well. Everything today is online. Um, find a course and uh, you're going to get here the possibility to have it in. Um, the, the program itself started in Australia and I have got it in 2006. I was trained in 2005 and 2006 and um, I've got it from Australian headmasters. Uh, so basically people that were uh, teaching and training teachers and working with teachers along to uh, teach this in school. Um, Chris, Jolly Authors, Jolly Features, Jolly Phonics. Right, so there are these beautiful things that you're going to find in so many ways. So basically, they've changed a lot. The uh, workbooks and teacher books and everything. And I find it really nice. You can also find Jolly Phonics on um, laptops and phones. And it works great when it comes to um, iPads and so on. It's it's doing a wonderful job on um, Android. I don't know about Apple. I don't think I used it. But on Android, especially Samsung, which is my thing, it's gorgeous. So this is uh, some other thing that happens or happened to my kids. My kids were raised with Jolly Phonics and with Snake, with Butterfly, with uh, Ladybug over here, with Bee and with um, Incy the Mouse, I hope, and I really hope I remember well. So these guys have a lot, a lot of stories and books. So basically kids have the possibility to start reading or thinking that they're reading from the age of four or five, which I think is amazing because up to this age, they trace and they color and they um, somehow manipulate the paper because they, they trace with the finger and they trace with a pen. After that, they they try to, to trace um, on the tablet to follow, for example, the... Um, a letter and sometimes it makes a sound sometimes it makes um, beautiful animation and um, after Jolly Phonics so we're going to the tricky words right from this beautiful program after we are learning the phonetic and the phonology we're going further and further and we're learning tricky words we're learning um, to play with words with three and more and more letters all right um after this after jolly phonics guess what we're not um we're not gonna stop here and we're going further let me see i hope i'll get it right ah no i can go to my actually beautiful um blog I have more than a blog. Playful personality and builder. Yep. 
All right, and let's see if I still find that blog. All right. Yeah, we're you're gonna find a lot of things on YouTube. This I promise. I don't. Um. Blog. Blogger, I guess. that I find myself at first wow <laughs> but um, the f f at the first time uh, searching where are you interesting well you have here some mature people that um, we're playing, they're actually our age, basically 30 something up to 50 something. And they were playing with quadro. And quadro is for uh, developing hands, developing the, the movement, the triad, as I said, developing the possibility, um, the engagement between the fingers, the hand, the muscles over here and um the um, eyes and the contribution right so you always have to create some uh so this goes for children and it also goes to um mature people it doesn't matter how big or small how young or old how fat or slim uh, this was also something that was brought to a lot of schools in a couple of years when we had um, the different week. Sabdona Alfel. Let's say it like so. Okay. What else we've got here? A lot of beautiful sensorials so basically on the page because we also have a page we had what's sensorial about the solar system right you can see it moving and spinning and you had the degrees here you had all the planets it was amazing it was one of a kind you also had the possibility to touch a quiet book if you don't know what a quiet book is please ask me in the comments and we also had the possibility to watch a video and we also had uh, the possibility to play with some um, uh, beautiful uh, cotton um, I don't know how to say it carton cartons i don't know some some so tiny small thingies from carton and um on them it was um, a picture of the star or the picture of the planet and some tiny features about it you can also find that in a beautiful um, application called universal and they also have a story and you can play with the uh, constellations there's a lot of fun for children up to seven years old it's really a lot of fun uh, here you can see Louis and Joseph at Palato Culturi with Isabella at Origami I have promised her of course you see here another beautiful sensorial and we all know what happens there and this is the Edenland Park where they have the possibility to go climb, to go, I don't know, um, get in touch with nature. And that's another kind of sensorial with smell. Here we're just, um, one is catching some snowflakes and the other one is playing with um, a snow to make a beautiful snowman. 
And here we have um, hydro balls or hydro balls, as you like to say it. Everybody was playing with this. It's actually water. And as you can see, they're big or they're different colors. Some came like this. And if you want, you can actually color the water with uh, the same thing you put in pancakes or cakes to make it a different color. Dr. Rutger or something. Okay, come on, work with me. There. This is... You have here the possibility uh, to see uh, three things. I think that's uh, a lot of seeds. Very, very different textures. Quinoa and uh, sunflower seeds and some other stuff. And what you see here, that's the rainbow. Yes, so it's made of wood and basically children can play. And they usually get from this a lot of um, things and a, a lot of um, happenings when it comes to a different shape and its stability. So physics, right? Unexplained. They just find it by themselves. And what they're doing there, they're actually creating shapes. They're drawing uh, in the very beautiful cube. This cube has only three uh, or four. One, two, three. Uh, they had the possibility yeah, to, to have three uh, sided mirrors. So we got one with three. As you can see, it's one, two, and three. And there was another one, you will find it soon, with four. There's a difference because in this one, you cannot create the um, inf infinite. In this one, you can just multiply or just make the um, uh, thingies look in a different shape. You will see, Joseph, when was two, created kind of a spider or so on. This is not actually a drawing. This was done on my note, note five, I guess, right? And we will also see here dandelions and cucumbers and a lot of hydro balls with very cold water. Sometimes it's cold. Sometimes it's different. This was the way my kids learned and heard stories. Basically, it was half drawn. So we have drawings and we have the possibility to 3D aspect and pop-up books. And that's not actually a sticker. It's like a um, beautiful thing to play with. You can, if you really wish, you can actually glow it. But I didn't glue it. I didn't use glue. I'm totally against that. I don't know why. All right. Let's see something else. Oh, that was... Um, so basically, we had this in Ploiesh, And as you can see, we had there um, Miss Gabriela and Miss Alexandra Anton. Um, there were other people. There was uh, Gabriela Malouf. We also have here the beautiful playing. These were clouds, right? And they played with these clouds on a beautiful set about the weather, learning about the weather. And right here we have uh, what they used to do. It was a beautiful shot. Okay, that's that includes a beautiful picture with a puzzle. Uh, but it's not all. We played with boxes. We, we played with a lot of gorgeous things. Um, we played with petals from flowers. We played uh, with, with a lot of... Look, this is the physics teacher. Um, hardcore one. See? So the... If they didn't teach you like this, if they didn't teach you this uh, kind of chemistry and physics, you were not attending a very nice school. 
Yeah. So there are so many videos like so, and they're so beautiful, so engaging, so nice. Uh, that's how, actually, that's how children need to learn everything by engaging. My children here uh, playing chess, of course, and a lot of uh, lives. And here we have something that it's still uh, beautiful in Prahova. We're playing with oils, essential oils, doTERRA essential oils, and we're playing with. Um, uh, crystals, as you can see here. I hope you can see this. And we're collecting money, usually for them to, I don't know, take a phone or take a gadget that they wish or take something that they need to um, usually we're playing with this uh, doTERRA oils. We're uh, doing some perfumes I let them choose as they feel, as they understand what they read about everything. Look, we have here a live where Louis uh, played with crystals with the gems, yeah? And with uh, doTERRA oils. And he created a very beautiful perfume. A perfume that it was very, very, very similar with Ceruti. He didn't know what he was doing. He had, um, last years, he had this Ceruti as a gift from somebody and he just created it from his beautiful mind. Okay. There are a lot of articles in here and I would just wish to honestly show you our beautiful um, activities right every single time the spring comes all the fruits are included not only in salads not only in making some tea look there's another um one of a kind uh sensorial activity chasing rainbows and trying to feel the water and understand the difference from feeling it on the tongue and feeling it uh, on the skin and feeling the water elsewhere for example on your hair or on your toe uh, right here you can see we had lego and here we we've got tangram and as you can see we used it with paper because not everybody had the possibility to take or we didn't have enough for everybody and we also play with leaves and uh, we uh, responded there to some questions about Army School. That was a show. You can actually see all of this on Playful Personality Builder. Um, we have different sensorial because this, um, this thing is are also uh, on a very different terrain. So they're basically vibrating and they're using their hands and their legs. And they were carried about, they were carried, I don't know, on a different, it, 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 I can't even explain it. I don't know how to explain. There was exactly like a rope or like a cable and they had to um, connect right here, I guess. I didn't see quite well. And they caught some speed. And at a certain point, they had a possibility to turn, but I don't know if they were just turning and they add again the cable or it was just straight ahead. I don't remember because it was too scary for me. Um, here you actually have this kind of green thingy, but it contains some water along the way. And they're using this um, weird... Um, kind of discs, right? And I, yeah, there were definitely discs with some hangers. And here, I'm sure uh, a lot of people were. It's just a beauty, beautiful ride. And what you can see here is Orașul Nuștucum, Brașov or so on. Brașov, Aventura... 
which is different than the other one with stories. All right. Here we have a lot of pop-up books. So you can actually see this yellow one. Osborne books are very, very interesting, very nice. And we also use um, the beautiful um, Encyclopedia. Uh, there are a lot of interesting stuff going on there. Um, and when they don't understand what's going on on that page, right? They can go to YouTube or whatever, but YouTube is really important to us. And they will find kind of the same explanations with um, a lot of details and with a lot of suggestions and with animation. Here you can see another activity of ours using gadgets and these are the last robots they played with because we also had um, Cosmo uh, from Anki which helped them in education, in uh, interactive playing, in understanding um, IE, AI, let's say it like this, let's continue with AI, so artificial intelligence. These guys over here also code and also have some sort of artificial intelligence. This here is not a wheel, it's a remote controller. Uh, there are so many beautiful things. Now you can see me with both. It was an everyday activity. Um, I had all kind of wraps and all kind of um, manduka and so on for them. Uh, this is just a picture that I uh, completely love. And this is a speak up uh, desk. Thank you very much, Florentina, for adding me to your beautiful program. Here we've got some drums and some activity like so. A lot of shows. Thank you very much, Isabella. Um, thank you very much, Bogdan. And all the, the people I worked with here, it was the, the first NLP course. We've changed it, we upgraded it. And we also have this kind of sensorial. As you can see, this guy here plays with a very, very expensive um, toy. I think it's um, one of their significant um, ways of playing, right? To have that thing. Right here, hands-on, again, uh, nature and the kids. Uh, we've got snails and we've got uh, um, froggies, little frogs. Right here, you got the beautiful project that was done in Kilia, Kilia Veke from Delta Dunari. And right here, you find another beautiful sensorials and another mom using a wrap. You can see Louis here wearing wool all over and the, I don't know, I think, and I hope the balls were ours. If not, they were um, from Mihaela. Another beautiful kind of uh, sensorial is working in um, the salt, with salt and everything about salt. That is just 10 times better than um, Sand. Sand is also very important. Here they are having this beautiful um, puzzle, but before they play with this piano and they are there uh, at uh, Joseph something uh, Aldo Mori Scuola Italiana, Italian school from uh, Bucharest. Um, here's also playing with uh, beautiful essential oils, but this time through that gadget, through that thing. Here we have some girls playing and writing. I hoped I erased that picture. I don't know. I thought I erased it from a page and I think it just got stuck to this one. Here I have Isabella with her beautiful Christmas or winter um, collection and here of course I've got the mother of oils Georgiana Velat that helps me a lot and 
um, we have this beautiful book that we suggest taking and reading. Alfie Cohen books and Michael Thompson's books are a plus for everyone. Of course, the one and only sand. And going to the seaside is one of my favorite things. And theirs, of course, all the children like to go to the seaside and they're, um, they know what they're doing with their hands and toes and maybe sometimes mouth. As you can see here, Joseph is doing a lot of exercises with his tiny, beautiful hands. So this is also important when it comes to homeschooling or when it comes to this kind of education, alternative education, it is very important to play with the hands, with the gesture. Again, pictures from that beautiful event. Um, there was not only one, but I've got many other pictures from this one. Another sensorial, and we're talking about tasting food and making some salads. And of course, Joseph that day, as you can see here, got an entire exposition of puzzles because we had the possibility we had a time um we had here some beautiful uh, insertions some beautiful stuff going on here we're um playing with our palms only with our palms and here we're playing with the feet as well and here we use body percussion so it's actually and this is uh, yoga kids and so on. So basically we can make m uh, music and create a rhythm only with our body. You can see here, uh, this is the homeschoolers meeting and this is um, beautiful um, work shop working with the one and only uh, the um, table that it's that has a uh, light in it right so it's actually uh something very special something that the um, father of my children did right and we used to play here with kinetic sand and as you can see here on this kid he has a um sort of a lantern see they had lanterns and they had a possibility to um, play with markers and they um, I don't know they uh, put some colors on the cups and on the paper and then we used a beautiful um, beautiful kind of enlightening the the room right so they they had a possibility to uh, put on the light um, only with this beautiful flashlights i say beautiful because they actually create some flowers on the walls and they create special shapes and it was magical for the kids right here you can see another beautiful and really really interesting uh conference about uh, personal development and it was held uh, to make some special for the parents because I truly believe that army school brings this in so basically when you go to school um, <laughs> as a parent uh, you need to learn as well you need to learn together with your child you can actually see here playing with uh, some cubes and some are plastic, some are frozen juice and they had a possibility, they had a lot of summers where they played with a lot of uh, flavors and um, basically it's one step in the nature, one step in science, one step um, using everything that it's sensorial, one step that it's using um, their look, their skills. So it's coding, it's nature, it's um, 
uh, web design, Lego design, uh, 3D tips, um, tips and tricks. Uh, it's mathematics all the way. And they know, right, in coding and um, in IT thingies. Um, and this is how schools look when we were in Mihai Vitazo High School. These were the desks. These were the thingies. My gosh. Anyways. Um, light is always with us. Girlands are always with us. And um, balloons are always with us. From balloons you can actually work um, making a lot of sensorial toys. And um, there are... Uh, a lot of toys. They had actually a full box. Thank you very much, Andrea. Um, with uh, this kind of toys that were created by them with their psychotherapist. And they fully engaged in um, calming them themselves and finding out and understanding their whole um, so feeling sector, right? So we need to work with emotions as well. We need to understand emotions. We need to be able to actually uh, do something special for ourselves first. So we need to calm down. We need to um, get in touch with our peace. We need to know ourselves first. This is another beautiful sensorial and it was to be found. Um, it was... Um, and I think you still can find it at Pepco or Lidl, I guess. It was really something nice. That's a joke. Um, I suggest listening and understanding Gabor Mate. These are the guys uh, at um, Canta Cusino Castle. And of course, they're um, riding, climbing, do this kind of things. Here we have another beautiful thingy. Joseph started using all sort of things, taking pictures because that's also a skill. And this is another thing that I was talking about, but now you got it on, um, how should I say, uh, on repeat. A calm down or time out or self-regulation, a uh, calming area. And this is helping, so you can find these printables on a site. <coughs> and you can also find this. And this right here, it's a gadget. <laughs> it's a thing. It's very interesting, very nice. You can stick your, your fingers in there. See, so they actually have a place with toys and they feel they they say how they feel they identify how they're feeling it's important to go this place it's important to actually um get a base on this because if marks represent how they feel without them being represented and acknowledged and um done some right uh, they cannot they you create as a teacher you create um mess and they will be confused and they will return to the not very beautiful and not so cute tantrums um that was about altus 21 acting academy that it's very very similar with armies i didn't know it existed i created mine in um uh, 2019 2019 and 2020 and I found about Altus 21 and Acton Academy um, because we also have it in Bucharest and in some other uh, districts um, or towns or cities and it's an American concept and of course it's done by some um, American therapists that began as teachers and they just prolonged they just um started learning basically about children and their development you see here another kind of workshop uh, workshop 
um, it's uh, having all sort of um, experiences with milk and making muffins. These are uh, actually made by uh, one of them, Joseph or Lewis, and some other stuff that were there. I don't know what it was. Usually, um, Joseph makes biscuits. You can see here Lewis. And look, yeah, all their childhood was actually like so. So um, that's there. That's, I think that's gel. Yeah, and it was all about his beautiful face. And we also have um, engagement with slime and uh, poofy, fluffy stuff. Um, these are the toys that were uh, bought for outside, but somehow they ended up at Kilia or Tataran or whatever. And these are the first um, raids with whatever that is, skateboard or something similar. Um, of course, zoo parks. And this is um role play yeah this is uh, creating a beautiful tv and presenting me or presenting to other kids some news or whatever that's actually a very very good toy that's a ball and um it's the planet and it brings you some information so basically until you get to the park and play with it whatever else you can um get some information in the car or on your way there even if you're in a tram or whatever you can see here a beautiful beautiful picture that was um in all mass media it was very common at her time uh, when it was taken and you can see here rush hour uh, it's a game that you find um on um Mind Lab experience, Mind Lab um, program. You can see here another game, another beautiful game that it's um, uh, called Corridor. And here you find a mother and a child, which are uh, one of my friends, some of my friends. Uh, Ioana is one of my friends. And um, that's called Cuarto. Quarto, Quarto, it's a game that received more than 11 awards. It's a very interesting um, game that, it, that has endless possibilities to play, to engage. One or two people can play that game and it's magnificent. I highly recommend it. Right here we have some sensorials with uh, Grandma, Christmas time. And here we have another kind of <laughs> beautiful um, sensorial activity. Uh, here we were again tasting and trying to make food, playing with jam, playing with peanut butter, um, playing with, um, uh, I don't know what that was, honestly. <laughs> he was playing with some um, thingies over there, testing a lot of textures. Um, to go to my highest, as you can see, balloons, but that was actually a desk. It was not a house. It was not a house to play. It was actually a very, very beautiful, unique desk. And we have Joseph on his birthday. And right now you can see, and you can do this at home, mm, the, the, the much I could do, uh, the many I could do, I did it. And I think that's amazing. You can actually use, um beautiful lead right so a cap so a lead from a bottle um this is really basic but you can see we have words with four words with three words with five letters learning about dinosaurs of course hands-on experience learning about cubes and stuff and that was 2020 2020 and here is another sensorial activity and we use our desks as drums 
One more thing. I suggest you would take a look at the classroom as it has a lot of information, right? Um, this is not the best classroom. It's um, quite different. There are many others phew, much more beautiful than we can all imagine. And here we had to play with, I guess, paper or clay. And that's the first desk, right? So it was a tiny little table that has some fluffy underneath thingies. That's a um, beautiful thing that we do. It's a jar and we create some stickers, very different stickers, like, like balls. And that's from Pepco, I guess. As you can see, this is the desk that Joseph was working on. And Louis is all, all the time with something fluffy, hugging something fluffy, playing with something fluffy. Um, these are water guns and they were allowed to their father's house. This is the kids' pool and they are playing in there of course they had this as well so basically what I'm, I'm trying to show you look this is beautiful and it's um folding paper it may be origami or some but the beauty of it is that it all the time creates something with their hands either it's legos or any other thing all right, there's so many more. We used boxes. We used, look, we have here a very beautiful um, grill day. And this is the slushy. And they were small. They were so tiny. And uh, their father here taught them to um, use those pallets and get themselves... Uh, into water experience so these are excursions and we have here homophones and kind of shapes shapes that are not to be thought only in 2d but in 3d as well so we've got a triangle triangle and we've got a pyramid and we've got the the uh, circle for example but also we got the sphere we got a square and we've, we've got the cube and so on. Um, there are some other kind of beautiful tests, tiny, small, incredibly cute tests. And here in 2020, where uh, nobody had the possibility to get out or get out of the house, we had our tiny yard and they had the a mud kitchen as they have in British curriculum. Um, kids touching the ground, kids playing in dirt. It's very, very important action for everyone. You can see here Lewis trying to hit the spot, hit the target. And I don't know where that is, but it's very, very beautiful. They did this um, all the time. They had bicycles and scooters and roller skates and everything. Uh, they read all the time, including emojis. They had a possibility. This is the tracing. You can use this on a um, gadget or you can um, print it out. And there is not a possibility. Look, these are tiny, beautiful stories, really cuties. Um, we had a possibility to engage in all sort of things, right? So uh, everything that it's stimulating correctly, it's educational, right? This, uh, I was the, the mannequin and she was the, um, the, the one doing the work. Uh, she's actually actually born on the same uh, date with Louis on the same day. And there we go. We have a tiny microscope working ourselves with um, and it actually worked. <laughs> I don't know for um, the, the, the superior kind of activity, the, the um, 
um, getting in touch to 100% um, beauty and interesting uh, features. And here we have another important, beautiful thing. Smart Pants Joseph uh, did this 3D puzzle. So all the games that mattered, all the puzzles, 3D and not only, Tangram, Legos, Robots. Um, this right here is Cuarto and I'm playing with Joseph and this one is... Um, not tangle not cover up how was it i forgot its name but actually this beautiful game this amazingly smart game uses this and you have the opposite uh, opposite uh, uh, color so it's black and white and uh, that's the only thing you can play on and uh on that game you need to uh, cover your opponent's pieces and you can uh, win when you have a straight full line. This is Lewis at Questfield and these are some other ways playing, see? To learn the numbers, to actually understand the numbers. We have written on the paper we have four thingies that he can actually uh, count and we have here um, another way playing with um big cube let's say it like this right because uh it should be dice but it was actually uh, an interesting cube here, what I'm trying to tell you and get you understand the fact is that children should paint, everybody should paint standing, but <clears throat> children should paint uh, only standing because it's the stimulation of the nervous system that matters when um, you need them to create. It says they are Montessori, but it's not. It's something made by clay or whatever. And here is adding up. It's a German method to find and to use adding. Yeah. Right here we have some tricky words, and we have them using their first um, tiny cute desk a lot of pillows a lot of textures uh, we have here the hungry caterpillar and we just made it and uh, worked with it and right here we have hula hoops and work with them and with numbers it's always about including mathematics in everything that they do and this is actually made with their fingers Every time something special. Every time something different. Of course. <laughs> uh, this is an invented bed. It was actually some part of furniture. And Louis made himself a beautiful, interesting sensorial spot. A lot... Of Lego and here it's some um, um, physics and chemical reaction right here we have some physics right look that is so nice mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah we've made a lot of these and we handled education with a lot of support We've got here some kind of activity that was in McDonald's when they actually cared. Right now it's a very different thing. And this is how they actually land the um, fractions. 
at first with me, with their dad, with uh, everything on internet, they've learned that. This is using the globe and these are the four seasons in some wonderful books. And this is skating, both of them roller skate and uh, blade skate. And this was one of the most uh, amazing um, uh, winter fun. And here are the grandparents. Of course, we don't use the fridge only for having food. We use it for puzzles and magnetic tiles and other things because uh, when they were little, they had the possibility to play whenever, whatever they felt like. The important rule was not to break and not to hurt themselves, others, and so on. This is the autumn activity. So this is something very, very interesting. They built cities. I don't know if I can go straight to that activity. Um, they build a city. See? They build it by themselves. They were incredible using IKEA and magnet tiles and Legos. So basically, they had a very cute um, alphabet. This is how homeschooling works. Encyclopedia, YouTube, books. All kind of wooden toys, a lot of sensorial, a lot of time together, a lot of um, kind of playing stuff, playing boards, and a lot of effort, but it's a lot of fun, it's different. I let you take over the information that you received, I hope it makes sense. Um, Khan Academy Kids has the circle time and to ever done that, I don't know how to, to, to thank them because at circle time is the special time where um, children connect between them and they also connect with the teacher. All right, so they, uh, they, they have the possibility to invite somebody else, but when they've got circle time at school, they had cutie pies. They had so many beautiful activities like singing and clapping hands or um, very simple choreography. They have the possibility to, to engage and to create a circle um, of trust, create a circle on the um, behavior that needs to be established in the classroom. This is how uh, British curriculum and uh, American curriculum regulate kids because they're coming crying or they're coming with a uh, cold, they're coming in different states, they're coming in a hurry. And to regulate this, and to not begin this, uh, just to um, sit your ass in a in a bench in or, or on a school desk or whatever, and just begin uh, using your memory, using your senses, and um, using your intellectual um, assets or skills. Uh, first of all, we regulate the emotions. We create a circle in the classroom. And I think that's amazing. And I think that should be everywhere. I think uh, children will have to, to sit with um, um, 
legs crossed or uh, to sit uh, up straight when uh, doing, I don't know, a lot of activities, movements, as you saw, right? So um, having done this with a couple of kids in, in homeschooling or unschooling, I think it's the best, the absolute best way of raising my kids. Um, this is a raw video, so I'm sorry about the way I spoke and I took English for a ride because for me it's just much more natural. I hope I did not use words that are not to be fully understood and I hope I just present you a tiny little vibe, a tiny little part from our activity. Toate materialele pe care doriți să le găsiți, le găsiți și pe YouTube-ul meu, pe, puteți să scrieți Playful Personality Builder și o să găsiți și pe YouTube, o să găsiți și pe um, acel blog, o să găsiți și pe Facebook, o să găsiți foarte multe, da? o să găsiți și câteva live-uri. Anyway, sunt multe de învățat pe aici, bineînțeles că sunt și moacele copiilor. Deci ei, dragi de ei, de când erau în burtica mea, după aia la Fast Track Kids cu um, Science, după asta uh, la um, tot ce a însemnat uh, licurici și Montessori și uh, Waldorf included și Emilia Regio apoi cu mine, Copiii mei au fost munciți în felul ăsta, tot timpul au avut senzoriale, au avut toate simțurile incluse, au avut tot timpul aceste progress reports care au, v-am spus, online este în felul acesta. Noi ca profesori le avem mult mai detaliat, mult mai fain. Este un profil, este un progres. În account respectiv ți se spune foarte, foarte bine ce poți să faci. Um, în Explore, aș vrea tare mult cu asta să închei. Uitați-vă ce este aici. Alright? Deci avem din pre-K. Doamne, și câte exerciții sunt. Atât de mult mi-a făcut munca mai ușoară. Nu puteți să vă dați seama. Tot ce a fost în... Um, um, early learning development până, în până la 6-7 anișori pentru mine a fost asigurat uh, pe tablete sau pe astfel de cărți, papa books. Și uitați-vă cum sunt ele de făcute. Second grade, 87%, third grade, 63%, fourth grade, 34%, dar au fost um, băgate, uitați-vă, getting ready, 97% și tot așa. Um, a patra, Uh, 73%. Deci copiii au muncit foarte, foarte mult. Uite, uh, high school biology, high school chemistry. It's a lot, it's a lot. New Zealand natural and cultural story, Nova Labs, uh, philosophy. Doamne, deci sunt atât de mândră că există lucrul ăsta. Dacă puteți să investiți, dacă puteți să dați donații, do it, look at them, arts and humanities, life skills. Deci au tot soi de chestii, uite, financial, internet safety, social media literacy, growth mindset, come on. Deci o chestie asta ar trebui să existe peste tot. De asta am și vrut să-i țin destul de mult acasă și o să încerc să-i mai țin pentru că au... Ancient art, Asian art, biodiversity, music, NASA, natural history. Come on! Facem noi chestiile astea la noi, nu. Algebra, geometry, um, sixth grade și avem aici math. Avem math from high school and college, science, economics. Dar avem, uitați-vă, multe, multe, multe chestii create. Avem și um, posibilitatea de a te duce pe literacy, reading and language arts. Yes? Deci foarte, foarte multe chestii faine. Ador CAN, ador AXL, um, ador învățat-o acasă, ador să fac eu tot soiul de workshop-uri, um, astronomie, gastronomie, multe, multe se învață în uh, școlile private sau în partea de homeschooling, uh, partea aceasta de, de British and American and Finnish curriculum. V-am atras atenția la tot ce mi-a venit în minte în momentul ăsta, este mult mai amplu, însă vă las pentru că a trecut o oră și 9 minute și nu știu sigur dacă 
mai aveți răbdare, oricum sper cu ocazia asta să notați ce v-am dat pe aici și să vedeți cam cum. Uite, college algebra, calculus, doamne, deci de toate învață, timp, greutăți, whatever. O zi frumoasă, trebuie să-i răspund la telefon și să îmi văd de treburile mele mai departe. Sper că a făcut sens și că uh, v-a plăcut ce ați auzit pe aici. Dacă mai aveți nevoie, căutați uh, pe cele ce v-am spus YouTube, deci Playful, Personality Builder și Armis School.